This is MathGuide.com. My name is Mark Caridimos. Today we're going to take a look at dividing by zero. Uh, if you've ever had a calculator and maybe accidentally took a number and divided it by zero and you get an error on your calculator, or maybe you um, tried to do some mathematical process in uh, a math class and your teacher said, no, nope, you can't do that, you're dividing by zero. Maybe you wondered, why can't I divide by zero? Well, that's what this video is about today. Just going to demonstrate uh, why you cannot divide by zero. It's just illogical, but uh, it's kind of hard to get across in a numeric uh, point of view, but graphically I think it's quite easily done. Uh, let's take a look at this, uh, this, I guess I would call this a bar. Um, this bar is what we're going to use to demonstrate what fractions look like. And most, most people are aware of what fractions look like. I've been working with them since like grammar school. But let's say we have a fraction, let's say a real simple one. Let's say our fraction is a half. If we're going to represent this fraction graphically, well, we know this denominator right there tells us that there has to be two parts. So, all right, you divide this up. Now, of course, technically this is supposed to be divided in half. I'm, you know, exactly equally. I'm doing this by hand, so it's not going to look perfect. But that denominator we said tells you how many pieces we have. Okay, it's, we've got two pieces. So I have the bar separated into two pieces. Uh, and it says, of course, we have one of these. All right, so what that means is we are going to take and we're going to shade one of those. There you go. That's what one half looks like. All right, pretty simple enough, right? Well, let's take a look at some more. Uh, we're going to take a look at some more uh, fractions. So I'm going to pull up some more of these bars. So let's take a look at what the fraction, let's say, let's try two-thirds. Let's say we have the fraction two-thirds. Okay, the denominator, again, says that we're supposed to split this figure into three parts. All right, so, uh, you know, I'm going to approximate this. I'm doing this by hand, but I am going to divide this up into three equal parts. It's supposed to be exactly equal. All right, and the top number says how many of those parts we have. So let's see, I'm going to shade two of them. So I know if this thing were to work, there we go. I've got two-thirds. So, of course, the blue region is the two-thirds, just like the blue region up here represents one-half. All right, pretty easily done so far. It's hopefully making sense on a visual level. Let's take a look at another one. All right, let's say we have a different fraction. Let's say we have a fraction that's zero-fifths. See it, but the denominator says that we have fifths, right? So I have to divide this, this piece up, this bar, into five equal pieces. I'm hoping I can do this, but fifths are always a little difficult for me to draw. So I'm going to start with this, and then divide that and this. Yeah, not too shabby. All right, so I've got five equal pieces, or at least we'll assume those are five equal pieces. That's what the denominator says, so you have to have fifths. And except now I'm going to shade none of those. No fifths. All right. Well, you can see that I'm not going to shade anything because I don't have anything to shade. So I have zero fifths. So I represent that by putting nothing down. I have nothing. Nothing out of those five sh uh, fifths is what I would get if I were to divide up, like, let's say, land into zero fifths. I would not get any of these fifths. If land was divided up into two thirds and I were or into thirds and I were to receive two of those thirds, well there you go. Those are the pieces of land that I would receive. So far, uh, hopefully this makes sense, but if I had a piece of land and they're divided up, I get half of the land, I would divide up the land into two parts, I get one of those two parts. Yep. Makes sense, right? Even zero fifths makes sense. I don't get any fifths. So I shade none of those fifths. Well, let's try another one. Let's try this last one, and I'm hoping this is going to demonstrate the whole thing. Let's try uh, six 
zero -ths. Alright. Now this is where the problem starts. Now again, the de denominator we found tells us how many pieces we have. Okay, so I'm supposed to divide this figure into zero pieces. Now you think I would just leave this alone, right? It says not to divide it into any pieces. Okay, well I can see why I'm not going to put any lines going down because I'm not supposed to divide it. However, if I leave the piece just the way it is, it's in one piece. That's one whole piece. Nope, this says I'm supposed to divide it into zero pieces. Well, see, here's the logical inconsistency. It is we are incapable, it is physically impossible to divide up this bar into zero pieces. That's why we say that this is illogical. It just doesn't make any sense. And if it doesn't make sense graphically, if we can't draw this graphically like we can other uh, fractions, then we could say that it's useless. So to refer to something uh, six zeroths of a parcel of land, let's say, or six zeroths of a dollar if you're a banker. It doesn't make any sense. It's illogical. So that's why calculators, that's why mathematicians, that's why this particular setup of numbers and symbols is just illogical and not allowable. And that's why um, we don't allow it. It doesn't make any logical sense. If you study this numerically, it leads to inconsistencies. So it's the same idea. If it's not useful to a mathematician, then we don't use it. That's it. That's all there is to it. So uh, if you would like to learn more, go to mathguide.com, check out our lessons, our interactive quizzes, and uh, activities and more videos. Take care.